Why United Way? Well, go back several years. I was chairman of the board of United Way. Uh, I think two years prior to that, I headed up the United Way campaign for Greater New Orleans. They came to me about two weeks ago and said, Bob, there's a, there's a part of the, the Tocqueville Society that uh, is called the Million Dollar Roundtable. And for the first time in, I think, 30 or 40 years, the main event for the Million Dollar Roundtable was going to be held in New Orleans. And they said, it's a shame there is not a member of the Million Dollar Roundtable in the state of Louisiana. And uh, we'd like to know if you would be interested in being the first. It, we're not just a company that um, takes care of the business matters at hand. That's important, and, and we do a good job of it. But Bob's leadership also exemplifies giving back to the community and making sure that uh, we do things to build the community other than the core business of uh, real estate services. The way they, they, they set this up is that it's a very easy way to do it because it's, it's, it's in effect a donor-advised fund. So you can give the money to United Way but still direct it from United Way to other agencies. Uh, normally, if somebody said, give me a million dollars, uh, I've got too much respect for a million dollars, and there are too many agencies that we give money to, too many charitable uh, foundations we give money to. And it would, it would basically block us from giving anybody else any money. That's, that's a lot of dough. Uh, but the way they've done it, I can then funnel that money to other nonprofits, uh, even if they're not under the United Way umbrella. Uh, our, our chapter is the United Way chapter of Southeast Louisiana, and I forget exactly how many agencies there are in there, but there are probably 60, 70 agencies that are part of the United Way. Uh, all of that is local. Uh, the money stays local. And the last time I checked, I think the, the overhead for the United Way was about 10 percent, which is fairly low relative to most nonprofits. So the money's monitored. It, uh, they make sure that these agencies use it correctly. Uh, they've got their hands on this. Uh, it's one of the best run operations in the country. Over the years, myself and Louder and Bloom for the last 20 years have probably given away on average between 500,000 and a million dollars a year. Uh, and that's spread probably across 40 or 50 different organizations. Bob sets the tone for his company. Uh, not only does he, he have a spirit of generosity throughout his organizations, uh, but he expects that of us as well. I'm also very proud of the fact that our company, about, well, I guess about 15, 20 years ago, we established a scholarship program for our agents. And every year we give away scholarships to employee or agents, children or grandchildren. And to date, we've given away over a half million dollars. Uh, not many companies in this country do that. I'm real proud of that.